So we have two new guests on our show this afternoon. This is Minso, who is apparently very thirsty, and to his right we have Sistine Bailey from the book Tiger Rising. Now Minso has written a quite lengthy letter to Sistine, which he will read to you live on our set. Minso, whenever you are ready. Dear Justine, hey Justine, you are the most craziest, weirdest, toughest, and the most insane group <laughs> I have ever read about. You are also someone that have uh, totally out of me, and you were totally out of mind when you forced Rob to let the tiger free. How could possibly, how could you possibly let a tiger free? You never know what the tiger is going to do to you. He might jump out of the cage and eat you up, or squash you onto the floor. The time you went or met Rob's dad, when Rob's dad spoke rudely, I thought you would reply in a good way, but you replied in an even more rudely way, so I thought, wow, you are really tough. The same, the same thing happened with you and William May, a housekeeper. You met her with Rob, and when William May spoke, he spoke back so rudely. With only two evidence, I need knew you were tough and will never give up or walk away. Walk away. You are the tough girl because you sometimes get into fights and then fight back, but you said that you want to stop fights, so you fight them first. When I told your emotions changed a lot, because when you met Rob, you were very mean, and when you saw Rob's carving of you, you said, oh, in a soft voice. Sixteen. You were crazy when you borrowed Rob's clothes and wore it the next day. When your mom came to get you, I think you were disgusted because she said she didn't want to go. Want to go? Well, you also have a very bad temper because when Rob said he was not going to open the cage with the key scopper trap, you got really mad and walked away. When Rob told you he found the tiger, you were mad and excited, but when you got there, and started shaking the cage with all your strength to let him free. Finally, you did open the cage with Rob's help, but you got mad again because the tiger kept up pacing back and forth. If I was you, I would be mad, but not as mad as you. Well, I did kind of wonder why you were in a rush and why you hated the town so much. You want your dad to pick you up. Okay. Do um, you take a few deep breaths? And think of how you were going to respond to this letter. <laughs> I hate your notes. <laughs> and I'm right. But 